Advances in endoscopic technology have broadened opportunities for endoscopically performed minimally invasive surgical procedures such as ERCP, therefore increasing benefits to patients such as reduced recovery times, decreased side effects, and decreased cost. This new era of less invasive surgery is made possible by new and improved endoscopic surgical instruments used by trained gastroenterologists that have advanced fellowship training in interventional endoscopy, which allows them to perform complex endoscopic surgeries through natural openings in the body, such as the mouth, while keeping all the incisions internal, which ultimately quickens recovery time. Endoscopic retrograde cholangiopancreatography, or ERCP, is a minimally invasive endoscopic procedure used to examine and treat the pancreatic ducts and biliary ductal system, known as the bile duct. The pancreatic ducts are tiny tubes that drain digestive fluid from the pancreas into the intestine. The biliary ductal system drains bile from the liver, where it is made, and the gallbladder, where bile is stored, into the small intestine, where bile aids in the digestion of fats. Both the pancreatic ducts and the bile ducts drain into the small intestine through the ampulla and major papilla. During an ERCP, a specialized endoscope inserts tiny catheters, which are long tube-like instruments, into the ducts with the aid of fluoroscopy, an X-ray imaging technology similar to what interventional cardiologists use to treat blood vessels in the heart. Fluoroscopy helps the doctor observe and confirm details of the anatomy, the location of the ERCP endoscope, and the location of the guide wire, which allows for the safe placement of catheters and various instruments into the ductal system all of which increases the safety of complex endoscopic surgical procedures. Additionally, endoscopists can place a smaller scope through the ERCP endoscope so they can examine the inside of bile ducts, which is known as cholangioscopy, or examine the inside of pancreatic ducts, known as pancreatoscopy. These two techniques are more invasive than traditional ERCP so are used only selectively, but allow doctors to perform procedures of greater complexity. ERCP is used to access conditions in the biliary ductal system, including the common bile duct, right and left hepatic ducts, and smaller branches of the bile ducts. Doctors can perform procedures, such as diagnosing and treating a range of conditions, including bile duct stones, which can be broken up and removed, bile duct injuries and leaks, such as after the gallbladder is removed, PSC or primary sclerosing cholangitis, an autoimmune condition causing the narrowing of bile ducts, and cholangiocarcinoma or bile duct cancer. ERCP is used to diagnose and treat conditions of the pancreatic ducts and pancreas, such as performing tissue biopsies or brushings to evaluate the pancreatic duct strictures treating pancreatic duct leaks, treating pancreatic abnormalities such as pancreas divism, and placing drainage stents within ducts to permit natural flow of fluid through ducts blocked by inflammatory pancreatitis, pancreatic pseudocysts, or pancreatic cancer. ERCP is a minimally invasive endoscopic surgical procedure Therefore, at Parkview, we usually perform ERCP fully sedated under general anesthesia. Once the patient is situated correctly within the endoscopy suite, an experienced fellowship-trained interventional endoscopist inserts the ERCP scope through the mouth, down the esophagus, through the stomach, and into the small intestine. The scope is placed opposite to the major papilla, where both the bile and pancreatic ducts drain into the small intestine. First, a catheter is inserted into the opening of the major papilla. Then a guide wire, a thin wire that helps guide instrument catheters, is placed directly into the target organ, either the bile ducts or the pancreatic ducts. Once the guide wire is confirmed to be in the correct position, contrast dye is injected into the ducts. Fluoroscopy allows the doctor to see the contrast dye illuminated ductal anatomy and confirm the correct placement of catheters during the procedure. Additionally, since the major papilla contains a muscular valve-like structure called the sphincter of OD, the doctor may need to perform a sphincterotomy, or internal incision, to enlarge the opening of the ducts to allow better access for the instruments. 
Let's take a closer look at two examples of how ERCP is used. The first is an ERCP of the bile ducts. Within the biliary ductal system, a gallstone is impacted in the common bile duct, causing a blockage which obstructs the natural flow of bile and impacts the gallbladder and liver. With the guide wire in place, a second catheter with a deflated balloon on its tip is inserted past the gallstone. When the placement is confirmed, the balloon is inflated and the doctor pulls the gallstone out of the ducts and into the small intestine where it is removed. The natural flow of bile will resume and over time, the bile ducts will go back to normal. The second example is a pancreatic ERCP. The condition being treated is a pancreatic duct leakage caused by a pseudocyst. The pseudocyst has grown to a point where it pushes on the duct, causing the duct to leak into the pseudocyst. This inhibits normal drainage of enzymes and digestive fluids through the pancreatic duct and the ampulla, leading to an inflammatory condition known as pancreatitis, which also leads to improper function of the pancreas. With the proper placement of the guide wire, the doctor uses a second catheter to direct a small flexible plastic stent or drain over the guide wire and through the blockage, opening the duct. This allows the digestive fluid and enzymes to drain properly. Because ERCP is a less invasive endoscopic procedure, it results in a short recovery time where patients typically resume normal eating and drinking within hours after the procedure. While the risk of complications is low, they do occur in a small number of cases. Complications may include pancreatitis, bleeding from a sphincterotomy, perforation or a tear in the small intestine, infection, and injury to the pancreatic duct or bile ducts. Please note that ERCP is performed by doctors with specific fellowship training in this and other complex endoscopy techniques during a formal, advanced, interventional, and surgical endoscopy fellowship after the completion of a gastroenterology fellowship. Parkview has a tertiary interventional endoscopy program, which is known as IOSC, Interventional Endoscopy Oncology and Surgical Endoscopy Programs. IOSC draws patients from numerous states around the country. The IOSC interventional specialists maintain an advanced level of proficiency by performing a high case volume, which allows for the best outcomes in ERCP by minimizing complications such as bleeding, perforation, and infection. In proficient hands, the technique has been performed on a countless number of patients at Parkview with very favorable outcomes, thereby confirming our commitment to excellence in the pursuit of the best experience, outcomes, and care for every patient.